Okay, so uh, I have content that I constantly am pulling in from another source. If I show my hidden characters here, you can see that this is all tab-separated uh, content. And uh, of course, we could always create a table out of this to help to organize this. But you can see that I've created uh, some styles here. I have, whoa, <laughs> title, position, um, subheading. And then I have, I want to basically do like alternating fills at the bottom. So one way we could do this, we could just hire like our 12-year-old kid to uh, <laughs> click on, on each one of these. Uh, but, you know, I'm not going to be cruel. Now, Anne-Marie showed you this tip earlier where, for example, if I edit the title, I have set the next style to be position. So it's a really nice little trick. But right now, if I do that, what's going to happen is I'll say apply title and the next style, but it fills the last one with the gray fill, and, and I want alternating fills. So my tip is if I go to the what I call the tint entry and I set the next style to be uh, just the entry, but then I edit the entry and tell it to go back and apply the tint entry. I'm basically creating a vicious loop at the end of this. Oh, I call it a vicious loop. And so what this does is if I select this section and I say apply title, then next style, it applies the alternating fills to each one of these sections. And now I can go down to each one of these sections and now I only have to start at position. And then I can basically very easily, I think I selected the wrong thing, but you can see um, I can start with position and each one of these is going to be formatted exactly the way that I want them. That's great.